Okay, so, uh, review number seven. Without using a calculator, state the end behavior for that quintic polynomial. X to the fifth. Six, negative six X to the fifth. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> I've made a lot of these videos tonight. All right. So, end behavior, you don't need the entire polynomial. All you need is the dominant term, which in this case is negative 6x to the fifth. So all we really need to look at is what happens to this when x gets really big or really, really negative. So let's see what happens as x goes to negative infinity. What does y do? Well, imagine you plug in a negative infinity right there, a really, really negative number. Then you raise it to the fifth. Well, raising a negative number to an odd power is still negative. And if it's like negative a billion and you raise it to the fifth, then it's negative a billion five times over. So it's very, very negative. <laughs> then you multiply it by negative six. So this was a huge negative. This is a huge negative number times another negative actually makes it a huge positive number. Okay, what happens is x goes to positive infinity. What does y do? So in this case, we still look at the dominant term. If I plug in a really, really positive number for x and then raise it to the fifth, well, now it's an even bigger positive number. Then I multiply it by negative six. That makes it a negative number. That's really, really big, but negative. And so, you know, I don't know what this picture looks like, but what it does tell me is on the left side, way, when x gets really, really negative, y gets really, really positive, so it goes up like that. As x gets further and further left, the y goes way up. And then as x gets further and further to the right, y gets further and further down, so it looks something like that. So whatever it looks like in the middle, this is what it looks like in the end. Okay? Hope that helps.